Bobby Dale, I thought what I could do is to go ahead and make a little screen capture of Data Tree as a little tutorial video, and this should help out. So, um, all right, so I'm going to log in. Uh, all right, and I want to show you, I'm going to get my next mail ready to go out. And the thing I've done is I've researched an area that I like in terms of recreational property. I haven't done any of the pricing research, but I just know where I want. So I'm not very familiar with this area of, of Oklahoma, but um, I know there's Turner Falls, the Arbuckle Wilderness, Lake Murray, Roman Nose, Quartz Mountain, Wichita Mountains, Granite Mountain, etc. So I'm going to look for all these counties, Murray, um, Carter, Pontotoc, Johnston, Carter Love, Blaine, Greer, Comanche, Jackson, Kiowa, Greer, and then, all right, so Greer again. So Let's see what this list looks like over here on uh, Data Tree, and I'll show you how to put together a mailing list. All right, so I'm all logged in. Uh, what we want to do is go to Advanced Search over here in the upper left. All right, that's going to bring up this new window. All right, State that I want. And you can see, I mean, here's uh, Arkansas, here's Oklahoma, uh, Texas, they're all in here. So, all right, so we're going to do this. Murray County. I need to keep my list handy. Murray Carter. Let's see. Carter. Pontotoc. Pontotoc. Johnston. All right. There's four of them. Uh, Carter again. Love. Wait, where's that? Why well, won't? There it is. Love County. Uh, Blaine Greer, Blaine Greer, Comanche, Blaine Greer, Comanche, Jackson, Kiowa. <clears throat> There's Jackson, and then there's Kiowa. All right, so that's the state of Oklahoma. And you can tell over on this right-hand side, these are the options that you select for your filter. So I've got Murray, Carter, Pontotoc, Johnston, Love, Blaine, Greer, Comanche, Jackson, Kiowa. That's uh, six, ten counties. Let's see here. Murray, Carter, Pontotoc, Johnston, Carter, Love, Blaine, Greer, Comanche, Jackson, Kiowa. Okay, all right, so that looks good. All right. The other thing we're going to do, now look, if when you get more sophisticated in this, I'm just going to show you how we're going to do it for land. But you can see, I mean, there's all of this data. Each, each property owner in America goes into a county database and so if you wanted to get real specific and look for a particular something in here, you know, all the properties in uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas, or all the properties in a particular zip code, or, um, I mean, there's just all kinds of ways to, to filter this stuff out. You could really get really in-depth depending on what you were looking at doing. Uh, but for what we're going to do, <clears throat> uh, we're going to go down here to Characteristics. And one of the things I want is Lot Acreage. So I think for this mailer, I'm going to mail everything between 20 and 100 acres. Now look, so it's here's what's going to happen. All right, so there. Now it's brought over here to the right side. That's one of my criteria. And the other thing I want, I want unimproved land. I want land with no houses, no structures, no barns, no nothing. I just want plain old land. So we're going to find that category. Um, okay, right down here is where I'm looking for. We want, uh, what do we want? Uh, market improved, appraised approved. What we want is the improvement percentage. We want... Zero to zero percent 
so brings it over here assessed improvement zero to zero let's see how many properties are in those 10 counties in that range 15,000 properties so really that's about it there's a way here that that when I go to order this data um, so what our plan is is to take this 15,000 and I'll scrub it down and that's probably going to be 10,000 entries and then I'm going to release these 500 at a time um, per week. So that way I've got plenty, plenty of names here. There's a way on here to, all right, let's see what we need to do to get this thing. But it's fun because you can just, you can just play around and you can really look and see. I mean, maybe you want to look for, um, maybe you want to look for three, two houses. Maybe you decide you want to mail for houses in Fayetteville. So you just go up here. Um, all right, right up here in this category, characteristics, bedrooms. You could do everything between two and five and get three and four bedroom homes. Um, and so this stuff is all in here. All this data is in this uh, giant database, and you can pull it all out like you uh, like you want. All right, now what's happening here? I'm ready to move forward with this. Why is it not? count why can't I view results or export hmm well I don't want to just make this a giant file size but frankly I'm having trouble figuring out why it's um why it's frozen Let's see here. Let's go back up to county and let's see. Maybe that's too much data it wants to pull. Hmm, I wonder if it has to be below 10,000. There it is. All right, so it has to be below 10,000. So what I need to do then is to make sure. So now I've cut my county list in half. So I need to really, uh, I need to look and see. All right, so I know that I wanted Turner Falls, which is Murray County. Hmm. This is going to be a little tricky here, and I'm going to end up making a giant. Uh, let's do this. All right, the Wichita Mountains. <clears throat> okay. All right, so what I want to do, this Wichita Mountains is way over here in this area. What I want to do for right now, I want to focus on this area. Um, all right, here's 35. Here's Gainesville. Here's uh, Oklahoma City. So I'm going to just focus right in this area right in here. So let's do this. Um, all right, I want Murray County. Carter Love. Okay, and I think these other things here, Blaine, Greer, Wichita Mountains, Granite Mountain, those are all further out to the west. So I want to focus on this for right now. Murray, Carter, Pontotoc, Johnston. Let's just start from scratch. Murray. Pontotoc, Carter, what did I say? Love and Johnston. Okay. 
Okay, 8,000 results. All right, that's good. All right, so I've got half of my counties here. These other, these other ones here, I can worry about those and pull those at a later time. Um, but nevertheless, we want to view results. This program is really, <clears throat> excuse me, super easy <clears throat> to work with. <clears throat> and I say that and it's frozen up. There we go. All right, so here's my 8,000 results. Here's just some of it. And I can tell you, we're going to scrub through this. So like this Lake Murray, I'm not going to send them, you know, you can't buy land from the state that way. Um, all right, so we want to go to export. <clears throat> what I was trying to find, there is um, some somewhere that we can, here we go. All right, I'm going to export this. And then somewhere it tells us, let's see, mailing label, export, property characteristics, that's what we want. Here is what I was looking for. Um, see this remove duplicate owners? This is important because we don't want to send a bunch of mail to the same owner over and over and over again. All right, and we're just going to get rid of all those columns here that we don't want so check this out uh, I'm gonna call this uh, Southern Oklahoma and I want it in Excel spreadsheet and I'm gonna order that Okay, and that's really all there is to it. But again, the, the key for our type of property searches is going to be this. Advanced search pick your state and your county and then just scroll through here till you find the criteria you want. Oops. Oh, that's that thing. All right. And in our case, go all the way down to assessor value, assessed improvement percentage, zero to zero. Okay. And then your acreage size. Here you mentioned uh, you mentioned Northwest Arkansas. Let's find a county up there just to see. Washington. Assessed improvement. Um, all right, zero and zero. Where's my Where's our lot acreage size? I've probably, I've, I've obviously, there it is, lot of acreage. Let's say for you, let's say we want to look at zero to 20 acre properties in Washington County, raw vacant land. Let's see how many of those there are. 23,000. So, you know, quite a few properties in Washington County. You can put together some data and mail that thing out. All right. <clears throat> So I'm going to cut this off now because it's just recording and recording is going to be a huge file size. But anyway, that's really the, the gist of how we search for this is through the um, through data tree, through the advanced search, state, county, lot acreage, and then Im assessed improvement at 0%. So hope that all helps and uh, we can definitely talk about it more later.